All right. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to another edition of Sports to the Wire. For those of you who who don't know me, I am your host, Rashid White. My boy, Beric, on the other side of the panel there, co-host extraordinaire. What's going on, guys? And we got special guest, K to the M, Kenneth Murray, the revolutionary, uh, joining us on this special, special Kyrie urban subject here, man. Thank so, you for joining with me. Thank all you. right, all right. Kind of take us off on this one, man. Uh, yeah, um, 2016 Boston Mayor Marty Wash said that Boston has a issue with racism. Comedian Mar- Michael Che said that Boston is the most racist city he has ever visited and he refused to apologize. Whenever hate goes on display, the response of black people is always anger, but we're not surprised because we understand the treachery of the system of white supremacy. Now, Boston is about 73% white and 7% black. To be black in Boston is to be the only one. The only one in the office, the only one in the leadership position. 45-year-old Bridget Brown said basically, it's a lonely time to be black in Boston. I will go into the sports aspect of this as we continue, but there is a racial problem in Boston and it is deep rooted in white supremacy. All right. So I've been to Boston a billion times and I haven't experienced any type of racism. The people there are really, really nice, really super friendly. Uh, this, this incident over here is in the case when people actually, you know, drink too much and, and, uh, alcoholism and, and, you know, and people a lot of times just don't mix for most people and i've seen you know spanish people black people white people get really stupid when it comes to um getting large quantities of alcohol in them in a sense though so i've seen this over here man i i I did a charter with the fire department uh in new york city and those guys drank when they got on the bus in the afternoon and by the p.m session they were actually ready. They're damn near killing each other in a sense, though. These are white on whites over here, man. So, uh, Kyrie Irving, this is actually all in your head. You need to stop. The, I mean, the people just, they just don't like it. That's okay. That is okay. Look, systemic racism is bigger than basketball. These non-white players are making a lot of money and white people are saying, shut up and dribble, okay? The Celtic fans are upset because Kyrie Irving accurately called out their racism and he put it to their face you see how when they were all buying his jerseys and his sneakers and cheering for him that's the main thing he said hey i'm gonna re-sign with you a couple of years ago and and he lied to the boston fans i mean they take their basketball there very seriously I mean, I, I think there should be other things in life that they should be taking seriously so, other than sports, but... Actually, let me, let me make it clear. The number one sports team in Boston is not the Celtics. It's yeah. the Red Sox. Yeah, yeah. No, I just said sports. I, I, didn't, say, I didn't say the actual okay. basketball yeah. or anything like that. But I just said yeah. je- sports in general. They are, mm-hmm. they just, uh, you, like I said, you get a lot of alcohol, and I've seen people get stupid. As a matter of fact, one of those firefighters, they actually hit uh, another firefighter in the head with a fully loaded bear can. But why don't, so, why don't black people act like this? I mean, you know, white players come to uh, the Brooklyn Nets, okay, Master Square Garden, and you don't see a whole bunch of black people yelling and screaming, oh, you white this, you white this, you white. No, no. But they feel importunity to do that, and they do it, and they're bold about it. Yeah, I did it. Arrest me. I mean, come on. And the thing about it is, it probably has. It probably some people, some people, or some Caucasian people might actually have a problem with the actual black athlete who is basically marketable, who is basically in most cases the face of the franchise outside of Luka Doncic, you know, or face of the NBA. And they're making a large amount of money. They got sneaker deals, endorsements, uh, large houses. And like, why is this? Why is this guy living in so a mansion? So there's a lot of and I'm not got, got nice, opulent wealth. I mean, uh, yeah, more, well, yeah, but that uh, most of the, uh, the NBA owners actually, yeah. except for Michael Jordan, all white people. I'm, I'm, listen, I'm speaking. I'm, you got to listen to what I'm saying. I'm speaking from the from the position of certain people, certain Caucasian people who have a problem. This got nothing to do with the rich Caucasian person over here in the hills or. You know the rich Caucasian person over there. It doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's the it's the certain few 
that feel that way. It's the certain few that feel that way. The Boston Celtic organization has been battling with racism since the 1950s. Fairly mm -hmm. or unfairly, Boston has been viewed as a city that is not black people friendly. But here are the facts, if I can remember them. Okay. The Boston Celtics were the first team to break the barrier and lead in tolerance. Now, hopefully, people will learn in Boston that you do this stupid stuff, you're going to be banned. But there's always that one person that did not get the memo, okay? And, you know, to the credit to the NBA, whoever has been doing nonsensical stuff, the NBA has come down on the fan and also the player. Remember Ron Artest? Oh, yeah. Remember Ron Artest? Well, you did. I was just thinking about that. It's funny you mentioned that. Go ahead. Yeah. You played no games with that. The people of Boston are working hard to make the city of Boston better. But it's a work in progress, okay? Uh, but we must not look the other way from the ugly history of Boston, okay? If we fail to confront this ugly history, uh, we're going to doom to repeat it. Let us not forget the busing issue that went down in Boston, okay? They were serious about not having black people in their city, okay? And, uh, uh, so, I mean, we can't just look at that and say, well, you know, we've moved on, you know? We, we moved on, we're better than that. But every time an incident like this happened, you know, you, you got to go back to the early 70s and, and, and because those people are still alive and they got kids now. All right, so Kenneth, let me ask you something over here, man. What about Taco Fall? He's a, uh, I think he's a 7-5 NBA player. I was watching that whole game from start to finish, included in the garbage time. Taco Fall actually comes onto the court and all the white people are like, yeah! They, they actually cheer for him. They actually want to actually see him uh, thrive and actually succeed. So what's your answer for that? Because and he's talking in Kyrie Irving. Because is that young man born in America? I'm not sure. Uh, it doesn't matter. He's dark skinned. Well, he's hold on. No, 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 hold no. on. Hold on a second. Because okay. Kyrie Irving, Kyrie Irving wasn't born here in the States. Okay. Did anybody born, know that? He wasn't born in America. No, he wasn't. You want to know where he was born? The Caribbeans? No, he wasn't. Belize? He was born in Melbourne, Australia. Interesting. Very interesting. Okay. See, because I've always felt that those individuals that come from a different country into America, they are treated mm -hmm. just a tad bit better than the blacks that are already here. But if you're coming from another country into this mm -hmm. country, now I understand a little bit more about why he's speaking out. Okay, because he refused yeah. to be treated the way the blacks are being treated over here. Yeah. And that's yeah. why he's opening up his mouth. He says you no, are like a black person. Yeah, but that doesn't happen in Australia. Australia, everybody's treated equal out there. Well, aren't the, so, Aborig aren't the Aborigines out there? Yeah, absolutely. They treat it very equal out there. Yeah. So, but, you know, I understand again. And you see how he speaks. When you listen to Kyrie's interviews, he speaks very well. Now, wait a minute. Now, you know, black people do speak well. What I what I mean by that is yeah, don't don't pull a Joe Biden on us now, man. <laughs> what I what I what I mean by that is is that when he comes out and he speaks, it's not because he's black. <laughs> it's the way he's carrying himself in a certain way. Not much there. Like you look at you look at LeBron, he speaks well. You look at no, a lot of them. Yes, he does. He speaks well. He speaks well. For listen, he don't speak uneducated. You know what comes out of his mouth? Another story. At all, man. No, he doesn't. It, well, listen, listen. If you can sit down and formulate a sentence, this is the good thing about it. When you look at Kyrie Irving, it's it's no problem for him. He went to Duke University. All right, he, this is guy that puts himself at a certain level where this is my intelligence, this is my logic, and when I come out and say something. Believe it, to tell, believe it to be true. He has his teammates, Marcus Smart and Tristan Thompson. They've also confirmed it. They've also yeah. confirmed his racism coming from the crowd. Now, now the fan I have, I have him pulled up on screen over here is actually wearing a Kevin Garnett jersey, uh, Kenneth. But didn't it's Kevin there, uh, Garnett bring them world championships, something of that nature? Yeah, but I'm saying he's a black guy, right? If he would, would a KKK person be wearing a, a black person's jersey? Well, were, huh? 
Well, you have to ask the KK. You have to. You have to ask the. You know I'm saying, I mean, somebody's racist. You ain't gonna like anything about them. Well, first of all, all, I never. First of all, Kevin. Hold on. Let me let me address that Kevin going that thing. You understand Kyrie Irving is being blamed for stepping on the the uh, Leprechaun logo at the at the TD Garden. Yeah, I was just about to Kevin, bring that up. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and Kevin Garnett was the one that came out against Kyrie Irving. So you know yeah, we're not even necessary. Well, needless to say, you know Kevin Garnett is revered pretty well over there in Boston. Why? Because he won them. A, he helped win the championship for them. Just like Robert Parrish. You remember Robert Parrish? Yeah. yeah, the only black oh, guy. Okay. Right. okay. So Robert, oh, 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 oh. Robert pa Fall. What about Taco Fall? What about him? They love him up there, man. But he didn't do nothing for him. It don't matter. He got, it he does got matter. Practice, but when he got it does the, matter. Because if you can bring up if you can bring up Kevin Garnett, then it does matter. And you're kind of working against yourself on that logic. The young man that you've mentioned, he's white people friendly. He doesn't cause a threat. They like him. What? They like him. Mm. Kyrie Irving causes a threat because he's a black man that speaks he his mind. He did not. He lied to the. He lied to the fans. He said, "I am going to re-sign with you." LeBron and he fully really lied, lied because. Can I? Can, okay. Can, 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 can I? Can I? Can I? Hold on, Barry. Hold on. Hold on. Let, let, me, let me address. Let me, uh, okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No. Listen. How many times you see a player? This is. This is any sport. Oh, you know, the contract is up. Do you want to come back to the team? Oh, yeah, I love it here. I'd love to come back and play with this team. And then two months later, they sign us somewhere else. I Get over that, that guy. They, they do this all the time. They do this all the time. Every sports athlete from every sport has done it all the time. I love it here. I love the fans. I love the city. And two months later, they sign us somewhere else. Really? So we're going to give Kyrie, we're going to give Kyrie Irving a hard time because he said it. When every other player has said it in every other uh, sport. Baseball, football, hockey, they all said it. So we're going to give Kyrie Irving a problem now. That doesn't make sense to me. Well, well, well could that be deemed reverse racism, sir? Oh, yeah. Well, <laughs> I, I, I'm just saying, could that be redeemed? No, deemed reverse <laughs> hey, racism. You know what I'm saying? That, that, that's right. It can't be deemed that way. Yes, it can. Absolutely. You see, like you can mention Kevin Garnett because he's a black, black, a black ball player, a retired black ball player who won a championship in Boston. Okay, the last time the Celtics won a championship was when you had Larry right, Bird, Kevin Dale, and Robert video, I'm gonna throw this video clip over here, and these are the fans actually screaming for Taco Fall over here. Hold on, where is it? That's not it, brother. That's oh, not yeah. it at all. Yep, yep. They, they go Taco Fall right. Taco. Uh, I think he's gonna get into the game, and they all is cheering he? for him. Yeah, they all cheer for him. The Boston fans, the white people over there who hasn't done anything for the Boston Celtics organization actually loves them some Taco Fall. Well, let me ask yeah, you. But, look at that. Look at that. They're going crazy for him. Look at that. Look at that. Is he? He's getting up. He's getting up. Look at that. Hold on, man. This is a, these are white people over here, Kenneth, who hate black people. Taco, they all cheer for Taco Fall. Let me speed please. it up over here. You're messing up the narrative here. No one on this program said that white people hate black people. The issue Kyrie said that. Kyrie said that. <coughs> yep, they all cheering. Look at that. They all cheering for him. Well, they're let me cheer for him. Is he a is, is he a mediocre basketball player? Yes. The game is actually too fast for him. Right. So in essence, I'm going to use the word. He is considered to be a little slow for the game, and mentally. Not mentally, just physically. He, he weighs 315 uh, uh, something pounds. So if they actually, when they actually put him in the game, teams is just gonna run high pick and roll and just put him onto like a guard. And he can't move laterally enough to stay with them in a sense though. That's so why he doesn't really get the burn. But so the fans, the fans, the fans the right? I, just, I just showed you on screen, they love this man. They love don't him, he's a fan favorite. Don't you think the reason why they are liking him is because he's such a mediocre player and they're giving him encouragement to, to keep on going? Well, you just yeah. said that there was racism up there, and I just showed you that there was a whole bunch of white people. No, you said Kyrie Irving said it. You said Kyrie Irving said it. Kenneth just said that Kyrie the people Irving in Boston are racist, and I just what proved I you said, wrong right there. What I said is that the history of that city is racist. All right, so I, just, I, just proved, I just proved you, Kyrie, you Kyrie, you're wrong right now. 
You I proved Kyrie it. wrong, and I proved you wrong right now that those no, fans no, 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 are no, no, all cheering, no, 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 no. and it has nothing to do with a championship. It has nothing you to go, do with that. He hasn't done back, anything for the organization, really. You go back to the 1950s, 60s, 70s, where black people was it not is. the of the month, and I'm telling you point blank, Boston is a city. <laughs> it's not Listen, black. People. I haven't. I haven't personally experienced that back in the days, though, man. Well, for some reason, I, I was born in '78. Look, your you last know, name. How, how does that actually affect me, though? Look, your last I'm name. Back in the 1950s. Your last name is white, but you are not. Stop it. At the end of the day, there's racism everywhere. The issue in Boston goes way back to the 1950s. And they're trying to weed this stuff out. You can't go. You can't fast forward to 2020 and say it's all over and done. I mean, that's ignorance. You can't do but I that. I just showed you that it's all over and done. You had actually white people cheering. Are you telling me? Are you, men. Do you take a look at my face? Are you telling me that racism? Can, is I, can, I, can, I, can I say something, guys? So basically, yeah. in, in short, the people in the arena that night speaks for every individual in the city of Boston. Is that right? Okay then. So then you just contradicted yourself. Thank you. Because if you're sitting back saying that it's all said and done, then that means every individual in that arena and TD arena, TD Bank Arena that night speaks for every individual in the city of Boston. I, listen, for me personally, I think that, 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 that people that don't like black culture, in a sense, though, they don't like the gangster rap culture, they don't like none of the music that a lot of black people put out. I don't think it's a race thing. There's a lot of black people, like like the conservative blacks out there, that doesn't like the music that's actually spewing out there. Um, um, that's actually poisoning the black community in a sense, though. So and, you, and I just don't think it's racism in a sense, though. I don't, I don't, I just, I don't see racism up there. I just seen a whole bunch of white people cheering you, for black men. Look, you, you have a problem with racism and white people, okay? You think, you think that their doo doo don't stink, okay? I you mean, listen. You can't change way. how. Listen, you can't change how people feel. If they're gonna feel a certain way about you, then that's just it. It, it doesn't affect me. I mean, you're still able to go get money. All three of us are still making money out there. Yeah, but then you know what? That's a true comment. That's a true comment. That's a true comment. But you know what? That's a very true comment, Rashid. But if that's true, then you have no reason to take a bottle and toss it into onto the court. You got no reason to spit. At Trey Young, you got no reason to run slurs at John Morant if all that's true. Uh, and listen, Kevin Durant is not even saying it's racism. He said he said he said it himself. It's just a bunch of people. Do you honestly people? That, do you honestly think that those basketball that's his best players? Friend. Do you honestly think that those basketball players are going to say something that's going to be racially motivated if they lose their gig? Do you understand what this is about, sir? Do you understand what this is about? They're not going to open up their mouth and be, they're not going to open up their mouth and say, yes, Boston is racist. And next thing you know, they're on another team. Does the LeBron James incident mean nothing to you? He opened yeah. up his mouth and now they want him done. Yeah. Well, look what he's been saying, though. I mean, look. He's <laughs> been, <laughs> uh, that's the whole point. Saying point. He's saying oh, something. That's the whole point. Yeah, he's, he's saying, saying something. He's nonsense, though. That's what he's actually saying. That, but that's the nonsense. whole point. He is saying something. But yeah, that's just what you're saying. Like, that's what I said a couple of minutes ago. It doesn't matter how this person speaks or how that person speaks. It's what's coming out your mouth. And the bottom line is, if you're gonna sit there and say that we are pissed off at Kyrie because he lied to us, but this this is the whole problem I have with this whole entire story. Because you're saying the reason why a bottle was thrown was because of what he did. When every other individual, every other player in every other particular city and every other particular sport has lied to every fan base. Why was Come he on. targeted? Why was he targeted? Allegedly because he lied to him. But we know that's BF now, don't we? No, it's true. He said he Is it really true? I, I, after, I, I, after what I, I just said. said after he, what I just oh but after what I just said to you. You think that's the focal reason why they went at one individual tossed the water bottle the floor? Why is it only Kyrie and no other no other black? You tell me then. You tell me I then. You tell me. You just said it was all, it, it was every black person. You just said that. I, I, no, I did not say that. I said every sports athlete. That's what I said. Every sports athlete right, from I, every I, different I sport. You, I gave you examples where drunk people get stupid, and I've seen white people do stupid things uh, uh, against other white people. I see it personally with my own eyes. I've seen it too. But why is an individual feeling that he is privileged enough 
or entitled enough to toss a water bottle onto the floor. He said, like, hey, know, it's man. me, it's me. Go come get me and come escort me out. You and call sometimes, me. Sometimes, you like, like, like I, when I watch a Boston game and fucking, and, and Marcus, Smart spe- Marcus Smart actually thinks he's tough and want to get up in other players' faces, I'll be getting pissed off. I'm like, man, shut the fuck. You know, I get, I get pissed off. How many, how many black people are on the, are on the Brooklyn Nets? Mm, majority, uh, majority of the team is black. black. Yeah, so man. why, out of all of those people, Kyrie was chosen? Mm-hmm. That's what I'm saying. They just don't like him, and that's okay. A lot of players don't like Kyrie. I'm, I'm sorry. So a lot of people don't like Kyrie. Should he be? Should he be basketball's Jackie Robinson, where they throw stuff at him and he just sits there and take it? It's only in Boston, though, apparently. Yeah, they don't like it. exactly. It's only in Boston. It's only, it's only in Boston, it, apparently. Merrick actually said it. it's only in Boston, and well, you he know? lied to the fans. He says I'm going to resign. I don't know he said it. I'm going to resign. Yeah, but the, yeah, but the, but that's when I kind of put the stop button on it. If that's the reason. I can't stress enough how many other sports athletes have done this. I want to stay here. I love yeah. it here, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Yeah. And two months later, they sign a Mac deal somewhere else. Well, they go throw something at them guys. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why. They just, Kyrie just, they don't like Kyrie. I don't know why. No, they don't like Kyrie, except for the one individual that says, screw that. I'm going to stand above everyone else, and I'm going to toss a water bottle on the floor and say, hey, it was me that did it. Could it be? Well, that you got you got you got attention seekers out there. You know that people want to get famous. Could it be? He got banned from Kitty Bank Arena. Who to say that he hasn't actually started a YouTube channel and 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 now he actually gets you know some credit, some some fame yeah. now off of this stuff, man. Why are you so apologetic for this young man? I, I didn't mention I, I didn't mention him. I just said that you got white people. That's actually no. I'm just saying for that black people. I'm disagreeing with Kyrie done. on it. We have done many shows of this nature, and you have always been apologetic to white people's behavior when it comes to them acting against non-white people. Well, I, 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 listen, I want to, I want us to actually look at our own behavior first before we actually. Uh, well, what white thing people are thinking about do you, that with wrong behavior? White people are not thinking about you. I talk to a lot of white people, and trust me, they are not thinking about you, man. They're not worried about black people. They ain't worried about that. They're like, what, huh? I got black if, friends. Like, well, what, what, what are you talking about over here, man? If they're not worried about us, then why take a bottle and throw it at this? Show? I just man. told you, man. I, I right. had, I did charters with white firefighters, and they're out there beating the crap out of each other, man. So they, when people get drunk, they just get stupid. Well, I'm just like, glad. Just, that, some I'm people just get emotionally. They get they are emotionally weak. They get you know. I guess I get it because I, I was can watching. We, can, can we sit there and say every nationality is emotional weak? I mean, can we just say every yeah, particular? Any, 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 yeah, okay, yeah. okay. But then when it comes down to us, right? When they listen, let me not go as far as saying, hey, the Asian community is going to get that whole bill signed where you know they don't get attacked anymore but when black people look for we don't get that right i'm not gonna go there i'm not gonna leave that i'm gonna leave that one completely alone the bottom line is yeah i think people do worry about the black race for whatever the reason i do not know but i do they i, I think they do worry because about the because they have this fear that we will do to them what they did to us that is you their know, fear right that but, is their fear that we will rise up and just destroy them based on the fact you see this is the reason why i don't believe in ghosts because if ghosts really did exist then all of these africans that died would come back and destroy most of the white people that are here on this earth okay now that's not me that was a paul mooney joke but at the end of the day it comes down to they are afraid of what we may do you know, the reason why Dr. King and Michael Max and the rest of these other black leaders, Marcus Garvey, they are afraid of the black messiah. That one individual that will leave the masses. But Martin Luther King wasn't a, wasn't a racist. He wanted whites and blacks to actually coexist with each other. Mm-hmm. That's what about Malcolm X? That's why you're laughing. That's why you're why laughing. About, why about Malcolm yeah, X? Malcolm X went to Mecca. He's like, whoa, you know, I got white people drinking from the same cup as black folk here. And he changed. You know that after he came he back, he didn't soften his stance against white supremacy. He hardened it. No, I didn't. He changed. You would like to, you would like he to think that. He changed. You would like to think that. He changed. Like he changed it, huh? All right. He went to Mecca. That's why you're laughing right now. Yeah, he had an awakening. That was his aha moment right there. 
and and uh, <laughs> yeah, man. Oh my goodness, you need we got, we, you we, need 20, we, we, we got we got to wrap this up, man. We went twenty five minutes, man. This is a lot of work for me to get this on the uh onto the get to the, onto the channel there, man. We're gonna wrap this up over here. Any closing arguments over here? Closing moments. Well, we already gone too far ahead. The closing moment is we just got to stop making assumptions and, and basically, you know, apologizing for other people's actions regardless of the color, man. You go out there and make a bad decision, you got to own up for it. You make a bad comment, you have to own up for it regardless of your color. Yeah. Bottom line. I agree. I agree. Well bottom said. line. Well said. Well said. Okay. That's, said. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. And, and at the end of the day, we, we all, all of us, have to be accountable for our actions. So that means Kyrie has to be accountable for the things he said and done. And that gentleman who threw that bottle is going to have to raise up and be accountable. Absolutely. Don't just walk out and say that, you know, hey, I did it. You need to come out and apologize, my brother. You yep. better come out and say something, right? You know? All I have yep. to say is revolution today, revolution tomorrow, revolution forever. All right, all right. There you go. All, all right, right. Everybody, thanks for watching. This, this went 25, 26 minutes now, man. And uh, if you like the show, please like, comment, subscribe, certainly share this show. And I'm throwing two paychecks in there uh, if you make it to the end now, man, <laughs> which most of you won't because this is long. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Okay, right. always a pleasure, man. Thank you for joining us, man. Always a pleasure, baby. We appreciate that. All right. All right guys. Just call me off the porch. 